Hello everyone and welcome back to The Luxury. Since 1966, the 2419 room upscale Caesars Palace has defined excess on the Strip. A massive spa with Roman baths, elaborate mosaics and classical architecture around the pools and one of the biggest casinos in Vegas. However, the base level rooms are smaller, more subdued and older than the Vegas norm. Nevertheless, they attract and come with Kruig coffee makers, hair dryers, toiletries and desks. The array of dining options from a steakhouse to a stellar buffet to a noodle spot is a perk and the well-known DJs and headliners that come through the Coliseum Theatre and Omnia nightclub are big draws. Unfortunately, expect to pay for parking and a daily resort fee, which is common for Vegas. It's worth comparing rates with the Venetian. Like MGM Grand or the Venetian, the guiding principle of Caesars Palace seems to be excess. With the largest poker rooms in Vegas, a 50,000 square foot spa, a long labyrinth of a shopping mall and several pools forming a garden of God's pool oasis. The grandeur starts from the entrance, where fountains, classic Roman sculptures and well manicured trees lead to the lobby, which has a striking sculpture at its centre. Large marble columns, classical paintings and arches continue the look. On the 31st of December 1967, stunt performer Evil Knievel unsuccessfully attempted to jump the hotel's fountains on his motorcycle. Built in 1966, Caesars Palace is one of the Strip's first giant hotel casino stunners. It was packing its over-the-top house with high-profile entertainers well before Vegas visionary Stephen Wynn took its glitzy behemoth hotels concept to the next level and still is with Celine Dion, Jerry Seinfeld and Mariah Carey currently packing audiences in at the Coliseum. But the downside of this hotel's age is that its base level, approximately named classic rooms, are smaller and far more basic than you'd find in the newer mid-tier luxury properties like Mandalay Bay or the MGM Grand. Even so, Caesars Palace is still a Vegas powerhouse. Caesars Palace is in the middle of the densely packed three and a half mile long stretch of hotel casinos known as the Strip. The Bellagio with its famous street facing South Fountain shows is to the south and the Mirage connected to Caesars by a free tram is to the north. The Flamingo and Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville restaurant are directly across the broad street. Rooms Rooms occupy six different hotel towers, Julius, Forum, Nobu, Palace, Laurel Connection and Octavius, and vary greatly across categories. Starting at about 350 to 400 square feet, the base level rooms are larger than the standard rooms in just about any other city in the world, but they're fairly small by Vegas standards. Beds Either a king or two queens in the entry-level rooms are plenty comfortable and come with high-quality linens, heavy cotton comforters and oversized throw pillows. There's no pillow top padding on the mattresses, unlike some other luxury hotels on the Strip, but the bed is still perfectly comfortable. Rooms in the Palace and Laurel Collection towers are significantly larger. 525 square feet in the Palace rooms, 648 square feet in the Laurel Collection rooms, and have deep soaking jet tubs in the bathrooms. The Octavius Tower consists of suites, starting at 550 square feet, and villas. Rooms have king size beds, large flat screen TVs, sitting areas, and work desks. All rooms feature large Panasonic flat screen TVs, iHome alarm clocks, Kruig coffee makers, motorized drapes with bedside controls, waffle weave bathrobes, and dual rainforest shower heads, and Wi-Fi for a fee. Hair dryers, magnifying mirrors, and toiletries are provided. What the hotel has. Around 160 stores and restaurants call the labyrinth-like forum shops home. From H&M to Planet Hollywood to Louis Vuitton and Fendi, the Coliseum's live entertainment lineup has featured superstars such as Rod Stewart and Delton John, and big names currently performing shows include Celine Dion and Jerry Seinfeld. For world-renowned DJs, visitors can head to the Omnia nightclub, but entrance is only free for guests on certain nights. Spa 
Caesars Quar Baths and Spa is massive. The 50,000 square foot space includes 51 treatment rooms and 35 massage studios. If it's not the best spa in Vegas, that might go to the Canyon Ranch Spa at the Venetian, it's at least one of the biggest. Guests getting any treatment can access the Roman baths, Laconium steam baths, snowing ice rooms, and tea lounges for free. The on-site hair salon, Color Salon by Michael Boychuk, has an old Hollywood vibe with elaborate chandeliers and vanities. And the large fitness center feels even bigger thanks to its especially high ceilings. Access to the gym is included in the daily resort fee. Caesars Palace is happy to host children. The rooms are large, the pool is excellent and mellow, and the concierge can arrange babysitting services. But it doesn't specifically target families. Unlike the other themed centers like the Excalibur or the Venetian, there are no exciting Roman-inspired performances for the kids. Cribs and rollaway beds both cost an additional fee. Note that the Caesars is one of the very few hotels that charges extra for a crib. Weddings, events and meeting spaces are available. Wi-Fi is included under their daily resort fee, while parking incurs a charge. What are pools like at Caesars Palace Hotel and Casino? The beautiful pool complex rivals the best in Vegas. The hotel's network of pools, called Garden of Gods, spans four and a half acres and three levels with Roman columns, elaborate marble and granite mosaics, and cabanas. Each pool is named after a Roman god or goddess and has its own personality. One has a swim-up blackjack table. One has cabanas for only invited VIPs, and one features an 18-foot waterfall. The Venus Pool Club includes secluded couches, cabanas, food and drink options for an entrance fee that increases on weekends. Caesars closes all of its pools except for Venus during the off-season. Casino It's one of the largest casinos in Vegas, with all the standard options, including an extensive poker room and race and sports book. All of the standard games, slots and cards are available, as well as a 250-seat race and sports book. Aside from the giant TVs mounted on the wall of the race and sports book, each table is equipped with its own monitor. Caesars is also home to a large 14,000-foot poker room, one of the largest in Vegas. The casino isn't as fancy as the casino at the Bellagio or the Venetian, but it's on par with the casino at Mandalay Bay, and much nicer than the casino at Flamingo. Restaurants Fast food and fine dining options abound, including Banacle Buffet, a steakhouse, and Nobu. Unlike many upscale Vegas hotels like the Bellagio or the Wind, many of Caesars' on-site restaurants are fairly affordable. But there are plenty of high-end options too. Bacchanal Buffet offers over 500-plus items spread, including truffle deviled eggs, lump crab avocado toast, and red velvet pancakes. Prices vary by day and time, ranging from $40 to $65. Beijing Noodle No. 9 A northern Chinese restaurant serves authentic dumplings and house-made noodle dishes. Rao's is the Las Vegas edition of the famous New York Italian restaurant, complete with its own bocce court. Mesa Grill, a southwestern restaurant run by celebrity chef Bobby Flay of Food Network fame, serves brunch, lunch and dinner. Old Homestead Steakhouse serves seafood and steak for dinner only. Renowned Japanese restaurant Nobu is open for dinner. What do you like most about this resort? We really want to know what you think, so don't forget to drop us a comment. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching, we'll catch you in our next one.